If you think that Rogue isn't a big problem, then you haven't seen this big Rogue deck. Death Rattle Rogue is already going through some major changes because now people are starting to realize that maybe ghouls are not the way to go. What would happen if we were to put some good old-fashioned big minions like Colossal Minions like Neptalon and Krabatoa? And here you have it. This is the new Death Rattle Rogue that is already, like... It's already proven itself uh, worthy in my eyes because I was able to play this deck and I went 6-3 and three and around the top 500 legend range. And this deck is just absolutely massively powerful. This is another deck that was created by uh, Hearthstone innovator John Bray. And I just, just got to give a huge shout out to this guy because he makes the most interesting decks that have ever existed in this game. And he ended up going rank 40 with this deck on the EU server. And trust me, this deck is so much better than the Infectious Rogue Death Rattle Rogue. And why is that the case? Because the, uh, the sketch information with Mass Reveller pulling out Invincible, pulling out Neftalon, or even Krabatoa is absolutely game-breaking. One other synergy that I have to point out that a lot of people may not be aware of because this is kind of new is how Sinstone Graveyard actually summons an undead minion. So there are a lot of times that you can literally summon a 1-1 and then turn it into, I don't know, a 21 attack minion. And yes, I am spoiling a game up ahead because that actually did happen. Sinstone Graveyard is literally just an undead minion that it has stealth so your opponent cannot deal with it so that way invincible can make it insane insanely big so this deck has a lot of capability and a lot of damage potential and i mean a lot of damage potential and i really do believe that this archetype is gonna get snowfall graveyard hit because this is the card that makes everything uh work perfectly and i think the reason why we need to nerf snowfall graveyard is so that way we can get really lucky with like an insane turn two play where you play snowfall graveyard uh off of a discounted uh cutlass draw so that way you can play turn two snowfall graveyard into turn three sketchy which is absolutely insane but there's also the preparation combos to where you can easily do this on turn three especially if you have coin so there's just a lot of ways you can easily cheat out these cards it's just like the old death rattle rogue except you are actually summoning minions that have immediate that, that have an immediate effect all these cards either have rush or invincible buffs your minions so trust me when i say that this deck is a lot better than infectious ghoul and when and you'll really just be convinced when you see the games i promise you before we get into the games, I just want to give you guys an update on what the mulligan is, because the mulligan of this deck is very straightforward. According to John Bray, the best cards to keep are Sketchy, Location, and Prep are, are the best cards available. Graveyard 2, especially in slower matchups, but you don't need to use the Graveyard before Sketchy. According to him, it's usually better to use the Graveyard around like turn 5 after you play your 4-drop. And yes, I am reading off this tweet, because I don't want to lead you guys astray, but that's pretty much what I did in the clips coming up ahead. I just kept Graveyard, I kept Sketchy, and then I let the Death Rattle Minions do the rest it really is that easy and this deck is actually a lot more fun than just playing five fours and hoping your opponent can't deal with them but if you do enjoy this kind of content feel free to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel to be notified about any other future uploads we happen to come out with and trust me when i say this is probably one of the best decks in the meta right now but it's also one of the most fun thank you so much for watching this intro and we'll see you for the next video and it doesn't run infectious school so you can't get mad at the infectious school but scourge illusion is the reason why this deck is even busted I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it because I know that sketchy information is the most important card. But I wouldn't be too surprised if keeping Sinstone is correct. Like, oh! 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 Discount one of these, please. I mean, I guess if I discount that, that's still fine. Please. Oh! Oh, this needs to be nerfed. Alright, here we go. Give me that Scourge. Honestly, I kind of wanted to have a Master of Velor still in the deck. This might be kind of a difficult matchup because Priest has Silence, but we're still going to do some nutty things. We still hit double Master of Velor. Let's go. All right, cool, cool. I mean, he's not going to play a minion though, right? If this is Plague Spreader, then I actually get hard countered. Okay, yo, one scoop. What happened? Yo, bro, you're going to have to tell me what happened there. He actually played a minion. Holy, holy crap. Honestly, if any of these get killed, I really don't care too much. So go ahead. I get another Plague Spreader, but then, yeah, here we go. Look at that value, mate. If he does, then I won't be able to get this out, but I really hope I can get this out. Alright, sweet. This is a lot of damage. <laughs> oh my god, dude. What is he gonna do? I mean, I guess he could silence, but let's just hope he doesn't have it, right? We'll do this first, see what we find. Uh, I want to go with Wicked Stab, but I mean, I feel like prep has to be the way to go, right? 
Wait, I just want the Wicked Stab just so that way we can kill him faster. I think I'm still gonna go for it. Alright, cool, cool. I mean, I guess what I could have done is I could have killed this and gotten four more damage, but I think that's kind of unnecessary. Like, if the minion survives, then we can maybe do that next turn for, like, a potential lethal out. I just like the idea of having him uh, deal with it, but you could also argue that, you know, if he does kill this, I could get the second weapon swing. But if he doesn't play Zarella here, then we're fine. But even if he does play Zarella, we're playing more minions. And if Nephthalon pops out, like I think it will... Come on, where's Nephthalon? Oh! Oh! my god! Oh, I have all the damage in the world! Jesus Christ! Oh my god! Ah, oh, sorry, that was disgusting. That was, like, actually disgusting. <laughs> okay, that is a lot more satisfying than just playing a bunch of ghouls over and over again. You gotta admit that. Okay, here we go. So, more, more meta-relevant decks. It actually is just, like, you know, Priest, Druid, I'm sorry, Priest, uh, Demon Hunter, and Rogue right now. Those are the only three decks that people are playing at this, at this rank. Definitely don't keep the minions. I don't think we. I don't even think we keep the ghastly strike. There's no reason to. You literally just keep snowfall graveyard and freaking sketchy information. Gone fishing. Okay. I guess we just do this to try and find the sketchy. That's not bad if we hit sketchy. This guy is no silence. So if we make a big board, like he's he's only gonna have like one clear. And that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so next turn we pop it. Dude, like, this is so disgusting. And it's like, I don't know why, but I feel like I'm doing this, like, every other game. This is just, this is just too disgusting. Too, too consistent. I, I forgot how consistent 30 card decks were. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I hit Master of Eller again. Not bad, not bad. And we also have Invincible, which makes this even better. And your wins only count in ranked, right? Like if you get wins in casual, they don't they don't count towards it. No, is he really knocking that out? Oh man. He did knock it out. That's not that's not cool. That's not cool. Alright, well I guess we're gonna we're just gonna play this then. What a delightful party. Uh we want the minions at the bottom of our deck. For sure. So we just take the cutlass. We'll do this, discount the bone. Or either that. Okay, cool. Okay, suddenly I, I think I know what I'm doing when I'm, uh... I think I know what I'm doing when I'm laying in bed watching Netflix now. I was playing Marvel Snap. <laughs> Not casual constructed, but casual duels count for golden class. That doesn't seem right. Why Why is that the case? Why? I don't feel like that should be a thing. And, and like, in all honesty... I kind of want to go with the sketchy introvert, like the sketchy value. But what if I were to do like this into invincible on like this or something? I think that's way more powerful. Maybe I should have played this first. I hit another invincible. I mean, technically, I could play this first anyway. No, wait a minute, guy. Wait a minute. You're not thinking big enough. You're not thinking big enough. You are not thinking big enough, guys. You are just not thinking big enough, and, and like, I, I completely get it. Trust me. Trust me, I get it. If this hits get, oh, okay, it, it, it hit this. <laughs> oh my, oh! Oh, you're not thinking big enough, guys! <laughs> Oh, deal with that! Oh, turn six! I don't think you can remove that. And if you try, it just makes things worse, I think. Oh, yeah, dude, I think a Scourge Illusionist might need to get hit. Or maybe, if you want this kind of interaction to stick around, you have to nerf Snowfall Graveyard. 
Now I got a 9-9 and a 12-12. And I can buff them more. And dude, if I hit Ghastly Strike, I can kill this Invincible. And give another, like, plus, five, plus uh, 10. Oh my lord. Because it all grants achievements, people want, uh... Don't want to pay for heroic duels just to enter. Uh, since casual arena doesn't exist, they uh, decided casual duels will be the start of the idea. Maybe when casual arena becomes a thing, they will add it too. Casual arena sounds very interesting, in all honesty. Okay, wait, no, no, this is already lethal. Oh, this is already lethal, dude. Good god. Good lord. Demon Hunter is the problem. Uh, I mean, it's a problem. It, 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 there, there could be multiple problems, but yeah, the, these decks are problems, man. I'm definitely gonna have to look them up because I want to get free wins. And like, if I play duels, I'm, I'm, that's free wins, right? <laughs> and and those games happen kind of quickly, right? Oh my god! Hello, sir. Are you there? Did he even mulligan? He did mulligan. I'm sorry, what? Did you really just coin hero power? Okay. Interesting. I know, right? Coin hero power? Is this actually a bot? Or is like, there has to be a reason you do that. The only reason you do that is for like, what? The 2-3? The 2-3 value maybe? All right, cool. There you go. Or that, I guess. The, the hammer turd, you're right. I mean, I'm not... <laughs> I definitely wait hold on so this guy is playing Renathal on Holy. So if I outboard him, it's just literally GG, right? Alright, so we'll just chill. But we could just kill the 2-3. He's not getting any more minions out of that then. Oh no, I don't get Master Valor value. I almost low rolled really badly here in all honesty. Almost though. Let's go ahead and get rid of that because I think there's some buffs you could potentially do. I mean, ah, this is actually really awkward because now the Snowfall Graveyard isn't getting any more value. But I mean, if I play this, this is still really good, yeah. Yeah, if I play this, it's still really good. I develop a 4 4. It's, um, it's an undead minion. So if he doesn't kill it, I still have invincible value. Worst case scenario, I can just do this and make a 6 6. Yeah, dude, Sinstone just needs to go to 3. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna knock it out. I wanna say no. Like, once I start getting crabs? Give me some crabs, bro. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Got an oh, dude, another invincible. So it just starts again. Go ahead, deal with it. We have- we're just- we're literally invincible. We're just literally invincible, dude. Has there been any talk about DK getting a location, and if so, what it might do? I doubt they're getting a location. It's at the end of the year, I don't think they're gonna retroactively add those kind of cards. So I would not expect a Death Knight Colossal or a Death Knight location. I would be- I would not be surprised if they actually make like a Death Knight Hero. They might add them a Death Knight Hero, but at the same time, aren't heroes getting rotated? So maybe that isn't happening. Okay, this 1-1 one, one became an 11-11, by the way. Wait, hold on a minute. No, it's not 11-11. Good ever-living lord. This was a 1-1. One, one. This was a 1-1 one, one minion. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Did I, I gave him a 3-3, three, three, didn't I? Oh! Okay, now we definitely do. God damn, dude! <laughs> it was a 1-1! One, one. It was a 1-1 one, one minion! What is he gonna do? He's an undead of a death knight. They don't run hard removal. Uh, reborn death rattles are such a gimmicky thing in Arsto. 
Who knew that doubling or quadrupling your death rattle would be good? That's not even gonna be good enough! <laughs> it's gonna re some of the minions technically, they'll have more attack, kind of. Right? Yeah. Oh my lord, dude, that's just not fair. <laughs> I could have even made it larger, but I'm not gonna BM this guy. I can't BM him, dude. I feel so bad. I feel terrible. We'll switch to we'll switch to Frost DK. It's like okay, Frost DK almost sounds like I'm saying Frost DK. I don't know what a good like what what K would be frosty, but like <laughs> I just can't help but hear it. Okay, maybe I should have kept that for like dealing with minions. But at the same time, like we just need the we just need the scams. We just need the scams. Yeah, we're not gonna do anything here. We'll we'll chill. Ooh, even better. Okay, so we got Scourge Illusion. It's not bad. We can't go for any, like, invincible combos, unfortunately, this game, but we might be able to do something with, um, the Colossal Minions. It's funny that this would be the second time a big rogue is getting nerfed this year. Wild had a similar deck not too long ago. Yeah. Yeah, that is funny to think about. <laughs> um, I think I'm still just gonna play this because if I end up top decking Graveyard, I could, um, I could actually play it and get the value. If only we had, uh, Graveyard at the bottom. Well, actually, no, no, never mind. I thought this was, um, I thought this was Gone Fishing for a second. Or in the court already? Okay, so hold on a minute. Your hand has to be able to supplement these turns then. Wait, is this Countess coming up now? Yeah, I want this in order to cheat some spells. I think we're gonna do this in order to value, uh, in order to value board. That was such a good turn, though. Definitely kill it. Like the, the killing the Reveller was 100% necessary because no matter what, we were gonna hit a minion that was gonna have rush. So like that's just you know good in order to get value. And if we hit another Reveller, then we just <laughs> like one of these games, one of these games like actually want like Reveller, um, like into Reveller, into Reveller to literally like be the reason why we win because that's just literally infinite rush. It's literally infinite rush if you can just keep killing the minion. Okay, so give me Snowfall. Yes! Okay, so what are we hitting first? Here we go. This way, in case we hit Nephthalm, we have enough board space. Like we could hit him twice. What a delightful part. He's over. <laughs> oh my god, this never gets old. This literally never gets old. Any guessing games? We might be able to do that later. I'm I am having way too much fun with this. That's not even <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Dude, ghouls are so overrated! Seriously! Oh, I, dude, if I were- if I cared about my ranks, if, like, I, if I actually cared about my ranks this month, I would do nothing but play this deck. I'm having so much fun. This deck is powerful. And it's just like- I mean, <laughs> what else can I say? I'm winning with this deck and it's- and it's actually fun.